Hello friends and fellow golfers. This time I'm at the renewed NSRCC Crunchy. I've played 18 holes. Unfortunately, I could only show you nine. Um, just the back nine from 10 to 18 as as I was playing um, halfway through on my ninth hole fairway, I guess. Um, someone came up to me with an official buggy and said, you know, I'm not allowed to take video on a golf course. They don't want to ask too much questions. I just had to respect their decision. So just nine holes. I must say that I love the new conditions of the course. Uh, the fairway is retailed with Zoysia matrella and the greens are typical Bermuda. Just the characteristics of the greens, the typical Bermuda. Downhill is going to be really fast and uphill will be slow. So when the greens do mature, uh, do look out for these uh, characteristics. <laughs> Hole 11, par 4. I slightly sort of remember that I need to put the ball on a fairway, but don't really know whether it was a driver or was with a three wood. Whoa. Nonetheless, I went with a driver and I almost outdrove the fairway on the left side. Fortunately, I was still able to find my ball, but I half topped this and the ball flew to the back of the green. So from here, I went with a sandwich. Uh, the greens are pretty firm and slow, so I went with a low chip and run with my sand wedge and the ball almost made birdie. Okay, hole 12 is a very short par 4. We've got the pin at the back on the right side and one with a 3 wood trying to hit a low cut. I double crossed it and he went with a duck hook. That was really bad. On hindsight, I should just hit the ball way right. Now you look at where the ball is, I left it there as I did say I was just going to try to hit it there for fun. You never want to hit in a spot like this, it's going to be really ugly. So from here it's just 46 meters, then the ball in the middle of the green and just let it feed towards the hole. I mean, that was just expected, right? If you are long enough to reach the green, a good miss would actually be on the right side. There's lots of space there. Uh, it's just another tee box. Just remember to shout ball. Okay, hole 13 is another shot par 4. It's 322 meters. Here I was playing to hit a high cut but the ball went high draw. Don't ask me why, sometimes it just happens. And I think my excuse is, you know, haven't really warm up yet. And from here, the ball is actually in the rough. I went with a sand wedge. I should have just hit it past the pin because the pin is in front of the green. I don't know what I was thinking and what, or just too cute. And the ball landed in front of the green. And it's very difficult up and down from here. I think a better choice would be just to putt from off the green. It'll be much easier. And miss my putt. Plus two after four holes. I'm hoping to look for some comeback on the remaining holes. But just a spoiler, I did um, play well on the back nine and eventually return with an even par. Yeah, press the like button for that. 120 meters, put this shot with a pitching wedge. The ball uh, still landed safely. At this point of time, it was drizzling. You can see sort of water droplets falling down in front of the camera. And here I was sort of thinking, will my camera be safe? So my mind wasn't really on putting. Fortunately here, I managed to save par. Hole 15 is 399 meters. The remaining few holes are actually very strong. 15, 16, 17, 18 are excellent finishing holes. I had to put this ball in the middle of the fairway as I've not been driving well for the past few ones. Um, mind the droplet as it's still drizzling. I went with a pitching wedge at 133 meters. 
this new T100 irons are giving me an extra half a club distance which I'm really happy I welcome it and my ball is slightly off the green as you all know I will go with a putt So two part par on the last hole to stop the bleeding. Hole 16, mega long par 4, 435 meters, wow. Drove this back, pulled this into the trees, and I will be faced with an interesting line. So if you're wondering if the rough is also um, Zoysia Matrella, it's not, it's still cow grass. Just the fairways. Half top the 5 iron, didn't go all the way towards the green. And I'm left with a very challenging 56 meters to the hole. Could this be another bogey? Well, it does look like it's on track towards it as the ball came up short and just managed to creep up onto the green. Wow, hey, nga. Okay, still two over. We've got uh, two more holes left on this nine and on this video. 156 meters. I'm aiming far right to the bunker and gonna hit a very big push draw. Hit the ball slightly behind. Ball came out really short on the left side. And then from there, I went with a lesser loft, a 54 degree, hoping for the ball to land onto the green and let it release. It's just too weak. When I was standing over this part, I was actually really confident. But then I forgot green was slow. <laughs> Normally new greens are kind of slow. Um, they don't really want to cut it too thin. Maybe two or three years into the new greens, it will be really good. I had a good chance to put two on on this hole, but I blew the tee shot. I was kind of pissed. But I guess I still have to move on and play well for my next shot. So this was the fairway where an official came up to me and said, you know, you got to stop filming. So we just got to respect that. Went with a hybrid, just clipped the tree, but managed to reach all the way to the front of the green. Yes, sir. And my ball was just behind this bunker. I just have to pull up a good score, right, on this last hole. To salvage my last three bogeys and it did show up the ball almost went inside the hole just stopped shy for a feet or two and a tap in for birdie thank you for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye